Hello running legends, welcome back to the channel. We've got an amazing video for you today to see whether £260 is best spent on one pair of shoes or a load of gadgets to really help with your running. Can't wait to bring this one to you guys. Sit back, relax, it's coming up. Let's get this done. My name is Ben Parks at 225 Marathon and today I've got a really exciting video for you because these shoes, Nike Alpha Fly Next Presents, tend to cost around about 260 pounds. It's crazy, I know. But what I was thinking, what if we took that 260 pounds, how could we better spend it to become a faster, stronger, and all round better runner than investing in one pair of shoes? So here's my list of all these things that will total up to 260 pounds that will help you running out a lot more than this pair of shoes. So before we start, we've got three little provisos. I'm assuming everybody has a pair of running shoes. If you're looking for a good value pair, then check out the Reebok Float Ride 3s. We'll link to that video um, up here. And also you've got a running watch or you've got a phone to be able to track your running. And also a little bonus at the end, we've got a few tips for the final bonus tip of some completely free things that will help you with your running. So stay tuned for that. Right, let's get stuck into this now. The first item is coming up. A lot of runners struggle to carry some nutrition, some water, some fluids, their phone and keys. And I find the best thing to do with that is to get uh, what's called like an SPI belt or a flip belt, something like this belt from Salomon or as the belt I've got on here, which is made by a company called Naked Band. We'll link to the flip belt down below. It's gonna cost you around about 25 to 30 pounds. Sits around your race. You can get a soft flask, put in the back and you can keep all your essentials. And it's also really good for race day for carrying some gels in there as well. Such a universal thing I found it's the best way of carrying stuff when you're out on the run. Moving on one of the fundamentals of running is training via heart rate and for that you really do need to get yourself a dedicated heart rate monitor. Now a lot of our watches have them built in they're really not very good so to take your training to the next level something like the Wahoo ticker here it's gonna cost you around about 35 to 40 pounds wear it around your chest super comfortable just has a battery in the back you need to replace about once every six months you're gonna get really accurate dialed in heart rate data that's going to help you out on your running and get some meaningful stuff that you can use for those easy runs so those threshold runs and things like that to know you're training properly if you've got a bit more cash something like the Garmin HRM run like this you'll get loads of running dynamics uh, stride length and stuff like that you can add into your training as well but for us in this video the Wahoo ticker wins moving on you're going to want to do some strength work at home but quite cheaply I'd recommend getting yourself something like this a resistance band set they're so useful it's going to cost you about 10 pounds and you can also uh, treat yourself to a bit of a longer one for doing some good stretching post run pre run and things like that as well so yeah resistance band set to really really up your at home strength game. Okay, guys, just quickly as we're transitioning between two tips here, of course, if you've got your own special things that you think are really good and helped your running that are nice and cheap and affordable, then please link those down below or similar things. Yeah, we really wanna engage in the comments, help out as many runners as we can. Without doubt, the most important thing in this whole video is to get yourself a really decent training plan. Now, of course, we sell them on the website, benparks.com. We'll link those down below. Yeah, half marathon, marathons, 5Ks, 10Ks, and ultra marathon plans in there. It's gonna give you such a good solid structure to follow through. You get a really diverse amount of training in there that is just gonna help you speed up massively. And also to go along with that is to get yourself a really good running hat. Again, <laughs> available on the website. These will help you so much to keep that sweat out of your face when it's hot hot keep you warm when it's a little bit colder and if it's raining hat forward conditions will keep that rain out of your face nice and breathable suitable for yeah all different head types check out our fantastic range on the website and see all the five star reviews on there as well right moving on it's time to learn something always need to be learning and it's a good place to start with some books so there's two real big bibles in the distance running thing we've got advanced marathon fitzinger and douglas and jack daniels running formula it's really hard to distinguish which is better you only really Really need to read one of these read some reviews and see what you think they're going to cost you about 15 pounds each now moving on 
with some sort of really good ways and basic things of training. Matt Fitzgerald's 80-20 running, one of the best running books I've ever read. And it's a really good way to how to structure your running with 80% of your week being easy and 20% at sort of purposeful, intense running. And then a little bit to work on your mindset. How bad do you want it? Um, again, by Matt Fitzgerald. Just helps you work on those mind games that running can play with you. Check those out. We'll link to those down below. And as well, all with all of my other running book recommendations will be down there as well. Next up, we're talking about rollers. Now, something like a foot roller here to roll your foot or roll your fat underneath your foot on top of this on a daily basis will really help prevent things like plantar fasciitis so if you suffer with that it can be really good idea to get a roller it's going to cost you about eight to ten pounds super cheap you can do it at your desk do it standing up do it when you're cooking really help keep plantar fasciitis at bay right moving on we've got what we call a foam roller here really good for your quads your calves and your hamstrings to keep them nicely rolled out now they're not the easiest thing to use so check out some tutorial videos on YouTube if you're going to be using one of those what I actually prefer it's actually not quite as good but it's a lot easier to use and I use them a lot more is something like this this is a classic tiger tail or you can get a slightly cheaper version like this for around about 10 pounds again on Amazon you can just roll out your muscles it's just super easy to do they're very easy to travel I do get away with taking these in my hand luggage on a plane as well and yeah just super easy comfortable to whack it out whenever you need so you've got some tight muscles that need releasing we're about halfway through this video guys if you are finding it useful please like share subscribe with your friends and also check out the website benparks.com for all the greatest plans hats wraps and buffs hoodies to help you having fun and enjoy your training right let's get back to the video Moving on, we need to talk about chafing. So you really want to avoid chafing where your skin is rubbing together, really uncomfortable. Something like a body glide or squirrel's nut butter is going to be super good for just keeping those bits nice and vaselined up and keep your skin moving nicely. Similar to that is sort of pants and socks. I get all of my socks from a company called Stance, make super good running socks, never had a blister or any hot spots. I would say link down below to some running socks that you recommend because they've all I've used and they've served me pretty well. Around about 10 to 15 pounds for a pair. In terms of pants and underwear, I get everything from uh, run, a company called Run underwear UK company based in Dorset um, yeah super nice and just keeps everything in place when you're running now if you do have sort of thighs that may be a little bit bigger and they might be rubbing together no harm in getting something like this a pair of dedicated cycle shorts I get these from Decathlon I use this when I'm doing things like ultras when I'm just my form sort of suffers and my legs rub together a little bit more but yeah about sort of eight pounds something like that is going to stop your legs legs running together and they still look good and breathe really well one of the most important things with running is to try and remain injury free it's not easy but with good form and moving across the ground well you're going to really limit the chances of becoming injured one of my good friends at Shane Benzi has an awesome website which you can subscribe to for around about 35 pounds a year he is one of the best running form coaches in the world and he's got lots of awesome videos that you can follow along with and to really help him improve your form he's also got a book out as well at the moment and yeah we'll add that into the book links down below also you might want to have a little check check out for free things like pose running or chi running as some alternatives in there that might be a little bit more cost friendly to do some research on that type of thing to help improve your running good form less injuries move faster and better times so here we are in the summer sun of Greenwich Park but picture the scene in the middle of winter it's dark it's horrible it might be raining and it can be tough to get out the door without the right equipment so I'd really recommend getting something like a Petzl Bindi, a super lightweight head torch, around about 35 pounds. It's rechargeable. You can recharge it from any uh, battery socket, just a USB charger. It's so lightweight in your head, you don't even know you're wearing it. It's gonna help get you out the door when the weather isn't on your side and also illuminate the road so it's nice and safe so you can be seen and you can see where you're going as well. Right, I think our total spend is up around about 230 pounds at the moment. We've got about 30 pounds left on. So where are we gonna be spending this? Well, what 
what I'd really recommend is joining your local running club. They're so good, a great atmosphere. You're gonna have some other people around to help you keep you accountable, to draw on lots of really experienced runners out there and get some good knowledge on them. You might go away to some races together. It's just that real sense of community, the power of the group to help keep you accountable and get you out running. So yeah, I check out your local England athletics if you are here in England, running directory for your local running group, or obviously just head on to Google and type in your town and running groups go along most of them will always offer free sessions to come along and try see how it is you might be nervous about going to the track for the first time or something like that and then yeah most clubs are around about 20 to 30 pounds the year really will be some of the best money you can spend to help keep you happy accountable and enjoying your running with lots of other people around So we've maxed out our credit card. Our love of running is costing us so much money. We've got nothing left. So what are we gonna do now? Well, I've got a few little free things. These won't cost you anything. A few bonus tips here. Now to help with your running form, I'd recommend downloading a Metrodome app onto your phone, iPhone, Android. Just check out the stores. There's loads of free apps. A lot of Garmin watches have it built in as well. You can set that at 180 and it'll really help improve your cadence running in time with the beat as it ticks along. There's a whole host of amazing running YouTubers. My girlfriend here, Sarah, has a channel on here as well. And we'll link over here at the side of the screen to our favorites. We haven't got time to go through them all right now, but a whole host of knowledge that can help you completely for free. It'd be so awesome if we could go to a race once a week that is completely free. Well, you can in many countries in the world with something called Park Run. I'd really recommend it every Saturday morning, nine o'clock. Now it is a run, not a race, but it's a 5K time trial. Pretty much you can go out and test yourself once a week it's really good to help you get used to race conditions to get up to be accountable at a certain time starting at a certain time and get a time for every run that you do and you can track your progress through it it's all completely free set up by the legend paul sent into here so thank you very much paul now my final free tip here is to get your phone and to film your friend and ask them to film you while you are running now this is really good to see yourself running now a lot of people think oh god i don't want to see myself running but if you can you can see what things you might be doing wrong you can pay yourself to some of the best runners in the world and once you have that visualization in your head it really helps to improve your running form which you can then do with things like some strides and some hill repeats and stuff like that but yeah to film yourself or your friends running will really help get it all visual in your head So there we have it guys, I hope you found that video useful. Now of course a 260 pound pair of shoes will help you become a slightly faster runner, but not by much and nowhere near as much as people seem to think. Hopefully all those tips and tricks and little gadgets in the video, using a lot of that stuff will help you become a much better runner. You'll learn so much more about yourself as a runner and become, just learn more about running as a whole. So yeah, I really hope you found that useful. Please like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to all the legends that support us here on YouTube and on Patreon as well. Me and Sarah, who's been doing all the edits in this video, so thank you so much for her, are off to make some more video content for you guys so we'll see you very soon in the next one